Hi, welcome back to day six of the Sealy Challenge. We're gonna untangle the art of poetry and let its essence flow through our conversation. I'm Eric and today we're about to explore a thought-provoking piece that'll have you nodding in agreement. Today we're going to be discussing Jane Satterfield's Shepherdess with an Automatic. I thought we'd start off today by reading the titular poem that the title of the book is based off of, and then we'll go into a bit of a discussion about the poem. And as always, you know, I really would appreciate any likes or comments and feel free to share your thoughts with me. Well, let's get right into it. Shepherdess with an Automatic. Ice-bound all winter, clear air is what we wanted. Certain warmth, hills lit as if from within. So why is the sky a sudden reproach? What should we do in this loud distress? Afraid to fall into each other's arms? Where darkness drops a world away, the armed remain resolute. Once in love, I awoke at dawn, learned music made by another's tongue, let the dissident band play to the crowd. If ever I sang once, I forget. The flock wanders now, thins. And even the wisest are struck by the sight of stone walls, the need for narration still asking the way back to avenues lit by a greenness already going to ruin. So since our spotlight is on Shepherdess with an automatic, this poem is it's like a deep sigh capturing the complex dance between human emotions and the world around us. So the poem opens with winter's grip and the longing for a breath of clear air. It's that feeling that we get after months of chilly days, a desire for warmth and the simple joy of hills bathed in an ethereal light. But just when you're settling into this cozy image, a twist arrives. So why is the sky a sudden reproach? It's like a raised eyebrow from the universe introducing a layer of uncertainty. Have you ever felt that hesitation to embrace vulnerability? The poem asks, afraid to fall into each other's arms, tapping into that familiar fear of opening up and letting someone in. Where darkness drops a world away, that sets the stage for detachment while the armed remain resolute highlights individuals standing firm against challenges. Picture this, waking up to a melody of a different language like a symphony of the unfamiliar. That's what once in love I awoke at dawn learned music made by another's tongue whispers to us. It's like a reminder of those beautiful fleeting moments. Now brace yourselves. Let the dissident band play to the crowd. It's a, it's a call to embrace diversity, to let voices harmonize even when they're not singing the same tune. Some powerful stuff. And then, like a quiet realization. If I ever sang once, I forget. We've all had those forgotten fragments of our past, haven't we? A humbling nod to the passage of time. And then, you know, imagine a flock wandering, thinning, a metaphor for life's uncertainties and directions that sometimes feel blurred. Jane says, even the wisest are struck by the sight of stone walls, the need for narration. 
it's a nod to how even the most insightful minds can grapple with barriers and an innate urge to make sense of the world. And then here our, our journey culminates in a really poignant phrase. Avenues lit by a greenness already going to ruin. It's, it's that paradox that we all face, craving renewal while knowing change in an ever-present companion. Anyhow, as we conclude our exploration of Shepherdess with an automatic, let's Remember that poetry has this remarkable way of reflecting our own human experiences, the highs, the doubts, and the beauty in the midst of it all. Hmm. Till next time, my fellow seekers of wisdom through words, keep exploring, keep reflecting, and keep finding the poetry in your own journey. And as always, stay strong, be persistent, be curious, keep your mind and heart open. Until next time.